So in this video, we're gonna kick off our discussion of working with and creating profiles. So whenever you create a profile, the first thing you wanna do is you actually wanna create a surface profile so that you know what your existing surface is doing and you can build a roadway or a profile for that roadway or profile for your pipes or anything like that. And you can see in verticality where your existing surface is in relation to your design elements. So in order to create a surface profile, what we have to go ahead and do is we navigate up to the profile drop down of the home tab of the ribbon bar and drop down into profile. And what we need to do first, go into the first option, which is create surface profile. What Civil 3D does is it opens up a window. It doesn't require that you click on any objects inside of Civil 3D, but it does give you an option for a drop down because profiles are always associated with alignments. It gives you a drop down to choose which alignment you're going to be working with. So in our case, we're going to be working with the dev alignment. And then it gives you an option of what surfaces you want to cut a surface profile from. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to cut a surface profile from our EG profile because we know our dev alignment goes down and comes across and then goes down again. It does not cross our basin, which is all the way down here. And it does not cross our prop two, three grad, which is right here. So we're going to go ahead and just do EG. And then you have the options of what the station range is for your alignment and where you want to sample from. We're going to go ahead and leave this information because these are for sampling offsets and we're just going to choose add. So we're going to add in our service profile and it auto populates all this other information, what type it is. So that little curvy line denotes that it's a service profile. Then we have the data source where it's coming from, the EG surface, what the offset is, what our manner is for how it's linked to the surface, whether it's static or dynamic. Most of the time you're going to ha want to have it dynamic so that if the surface changes or if your alignment location changes, that it auto updates. Then you have the style that it's being displayed as, the station it starts at, the station it ends at. And then this information populates based on where your alignment falls on your surface. So the minimum elevation along our entire alignment across the EG surface is 188.608. And the maximum elevation of our alignment along that surface is 195.00. So if I go ahead and click OK, I'm going to get a warning from Civil 3D that says profiles have been created and listed in Prospector, which is over here. Use the Create Profile View command to display in profile view. And that's what we're gonna be doing in the next video.